Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. So fall finally decided to stick around. Yeah, so for the last week it's been below 70, which has been phenomenal. I'm still not really getting the fall feels that I've, you know, usually gotten over the years. This is kind of a fake ass fall to me, kind of. But, but, but it's better than nothing and it certainly as hell is better than summer in this sauna that we call the south but in any case fall has fallen and so i started breaking out my favorite fall lip colors and i figured why not introduce you guys to what my favorite fall lip colors are so we're not even going to do like a try on and stuff like that you're not going to see me putting it on and stuff like that it's just going to be a video with a voiceover because if i did it the way that i want to do it which is talking at you guys we will be sitting here all day um so i got together a couple well not a couple more like i want to say maybe 12 Maybe 12 of my favorite fall colors. Some of them are probably going to be a little bit unusual for fall, like this one right here. Um, but for the most part, they're in, you know, the deep burgundy orange. Wait, what? No. Deep burgundy. Most of them are cool also. But in any case, you'll see because I'm going to give you little tidbits as, you know, the voiceover is rolling. But yeah, these are my favorite fall colors. I've tried to include some reasonably priced ones. There are a couple of limited edition ones, but those usually swing around each year. So don't worry about it being limited edition. You can still get it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I won't be back to say anything else after the video and so once again hope you enjoyed and um, I will see you in the next one bye hey guys so you know that I generally don't like uh, brown lipsticks but I do have a couple that you know aren't terrible on me the first one is this um, pink brown from Ilamasca it is $26 it's called Shala you can find it on the Ilamasca website I believe still or if not it is also available on look fantastic this next shade is also from Ilamasca. It's the shade Moth. Uh, once again, $26. I don't believe you can find it on the Ilamasca website, but I know that it is still available on Look Fantastic or you can find it on Beauty Bay. It's just a really, really deep, neutral, um, dark brown, and it's really, really pretty for fall. This third and last brown shade is the shade Sexy Siren or 5402 from uh, Black Radiance. It is one of their... Um, perfect tone lip creams. It is so comfy. I believe it is $4.99 on the Walgreens website. This shade right here, I don't remember the name. It's from Sephora. It is $16 and it is one of their um, matte lip creams. And I mean, it's a little bit comfortable, but not very. It's kind of drying actually. This shade right here is I believe Molten Chocolate Cake from Jordana. It's between $4 and $6. I got mine from Walgreens. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I do believe it was $4.99. If, actually no, this one is called Sweet Marsala Wine. You know what, if I got the names wrong, I will just go ahead and put them on the screen. This is a relatively new fave from Makeup Revolution. You can find it at Ulta for $8. It is the shade um, Thirst from their new Neutrals Lip Collection. This is Current Jam from Jordana. Uh, once again, got it at Walgreens between $4 and $6. Um, it's kind of a purpley burgundy. Um, it pulls more purple on me than anything else. This is one of the more expensive ones. This is Blood Roses from Kevin O'Quan Beauty. I don't really wear this too much because it does tend to transfer every single wear, but it is an absolutely beautiful color. And it smells so good. This shade is a mid-toned um, berry shade from uh, NARS. It is the color Damned. I believe these are 25. I could be wrong. I'll put the correct um, price on the screen if I am wrong. This is one of the Huda Beauty lipsticks in uh, Material Girl. It is a purple I don't think it's supposed to pull purple though it just pulls very purple on me but you guys know how I feel about my Huda lipsticks they're really really comfy this came in one of the sets that I still um, believe is on Sephora that you can uh, purchase I think for $28 right now 
this second shade is also from the same set. It's called uh, Famous and it's a, a red shade, a red burgundy. Pulls more red than anything else on me though. This shade is from Jordana as well. It is called uh, Sweet Marsala Wine. Once again, between four and six dollars. I don't know anywhere else that you can find them but Walgreens, but you're welcome to search around in other places. Do y'all remember this shade? This is the shade Train Blue from NARS that everybody was going absolutely nuts over a few years ago. I don't really see anybody wearing it anymore, but it is such a pretty color and it works on literally every skin tone. Um, same price as the other one. Alright, so this is going to be a limited edition one. I do believe that it's available on the Jouer website in their um, Kiss and Goodbyes uh, section for about 10 bucks. This is the color Cabernet, and I swear to God, this is the only red that um, exists in the universe as far as I'm concerned. The only one. This shade is also a limited edition from Jouer. It's called Clove. It is a metallic burnt eggplant shade. And Jouer uh, metallics are really something special because they're not like overly metallic and they're still quite comfortable. This is also available in the Kiss and Goodbyes for $10. As is this shade right here, Dahlia. I know this is kind of unusual for a fall tone, but for whatever reason, this shade I only ever wear in the fall for, for whatever reason, I don't know what that's about. This is also available in the Kiss and Goodbye section on the Jouer website as well, so don't say I never gave you anything. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed this as I did, and see you later, bye.